will get to the 29 yard line brought down there they'll get three as the drive continues mm. it's a first down a little shift there and the lions first down they'll run it with johnson and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33 yard line the 2015 first round pick malcolm brown brings him down okay if we can get a block on that safety Johnson. And oh. two, maybe three, up near the 37. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Third and two, Stafford. And that one drops. He almost, I almost got sacked on a quick slant. That is bull. Let's go for it. The middle's wide open. I'm going to double this guy. We're going to get this. We're going to get this first down. Yep. I can't believe I almost got sacked on a quick slant. The fourth down ran successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Backed up where they were on this side of the field. That was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much they're <laughs> going for. That's their decision. But where's the defensive play? Where's the leverage? Where's the little man wins? I think they're in man. Offensive backfield and spilling the play. How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that situation? And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. Oh, yeah. Decent yardage, decent yardage. I don't know what this defense is. Sometimes with the running game, you just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And that will be incomplete. I don't know what that throw was. I don't, I honestly don't know what these throws are half the time. If we can force them into, like, gotta pass situations. From the gun, it's Breeze. Ball hit as he throws I'm getting pressure. Gun doubles. Trying to look downfield, he's standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Breeze again here on second and ten. Screen pass. Yes. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the twenty. Now that's the second time that I've completely read that screen, and I actually made the play on that one. Credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Gotta credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them. Ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go dive here. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Again, it's Johnson. And mm -hmm. near the 45, if we go down and score a touchdown, that'll put us up 31 17. I'll feel really good about that. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On 
first down. Johnson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that. Okay, if we can get that edge sealed. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So they'll come up after the gain of seven. No, I don't want to do that. On the ground, this is Johnson. Grind it. Grind it. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. is made by Hawkinson the tight end. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good game. Our passing offense is 31st in the league. Give him 9 there on the first down completion. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Make sure we shift it to the right. Now Johnson. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And he's brought down just outside of the team. They have no answer for that inside zone. Down pick up of eight. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second down. This is what we want. Running is swift. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Whew, that drive was flawless. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Lions that felt good. That felt real good. Lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Prater for the extra point and the lead now up to 14. Okay, now we limit the big plays. <clears throat> Let's play... Nickel two man high, uh, so that way we have we have deep help. There's Breeze, and it's caught the tight end Hill, and he'll be out of bounds across the thirty yard line. Seven yards, the pickup. Seven yards is not going to hurt me. They'll operate from the thirty two yard line here, second and three. Brings up second and three. To throw is Breeze. And that is incomplete. Breeze has thrown away. And the Saints on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time it's third and three. Now Breeze. He is going to find Hill here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it. <clears> they can do that all they want. That seven yards. Fifteen and a Saints first down. Seven yard. Uh, Drags are not gonna you mean it actually crossed your mind not gonna do any damage to me. You could actually maybe write this game off. Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. That's another Saints first down. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And he's gonna be sacked. <laughs> They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Brutal. Trey Flowers has Brutal. recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. From midfield, here's Breeze. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he 
works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A big gain there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. The Saints on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. They're up against a third and one situation. Now Breeze. The open man is Smith. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. They really need to tune the, uh, the hurry up. First down on a pickup of eight there. The hurry up uh, offense of the computer. Here's Breeze to throw. That's caught. It's Thomas. <clears throat> and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. All the yards, completions, just another play that's a feather in the cap of the great career of Drew Brees. Wasn't he supposed to be too small to be an effective quarterback in yeah, the NFL? Yeah, how'd that work out? And well, his footwork, I think, really sets him apart. Remember, he was a junior tennis champion. Mm. Andy Roddick, the future U.S. Open champion, back when they were in the juniors, I think that footwork really helps him be the great quarterback he is now. Line of scrimmage. He beat Andy Roddick in the juniors? Second and goal. Throwing now is Breeze. This is caught. Nice. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. Ooh. I did to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. Whatever. So hold everything here. This Whatever. Is Seems like every single game I win by seven points. Seems like every single game comes down to the onside kick. Oh, shh. Forgot to shift my defense, or my recover. So a seven point game, they'll need a recovery, the touchdown, and an extra point to tie. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Onside kick, recovered by the Lions. Kenny Galladay and the Lions set to go to work again. And he's racking up the yardage. You see the catches. And defensively, what do you do here to stop a guy like this? You keep trying to change things up because nothing is really working. Whether you have a man on him, two people, you're showing different types of zone defenses combined with man-to-man -man coverages. Try and change things up and eventually get to the point where maybe you put enough people on him. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it, but even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they get these stops on defense, all hope is now lost. Too easy. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll run here with Swift. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Busy night continues for Johnson, and he'll take it down. Without Jamario Davis in there, in the middle, they're they're so much weaker. I mean, he he made them strong in the middle. And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. Stafford down to a knee and with it, he's going to ensure his guys a victory. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me. Well, it wasn't easy, but it wasn't tremendously difficult. <laughs> 
So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. Ooh, I like that. Game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. All right. That felt good. That felt real good. Okay, Chicago. I believe they have Ryan Fitzpatrick. At least if I'm sure if they have the same quarterback as they had earlier in the season, they have Ryan Fitzpatrick as their quarterback. Which didn't pose <clears throat> too great of a threat against our defense, but I don't wanna you know, I don't wanna put down a win before we play the game, of course. Oh, here we go. Got some good level ups here. What is his release? Eighty nine. 88 deep route. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's do our scouting. That's pretty decent. Jontavius Jenkins. Wow. Kid can play. All right, so in our division... We're two games ahead, and we have the tiebreaker against Chicago. So we're effectively three games ahead in our division going into this game. So if we win this, it should put us it should put us well out in front. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's a special Thanksgiving Day presentation. Yep, they still have Ryan Fitzpatrick. Matthew Stafford. He doesn't even look like himself. They need to update his character model. He looks like way too young and he doesn't have the big beard. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up. Between Green Bay's not even Bears close to being in it. This was strange because they they have Aaron Rodgers. I'm not sure why Green Bay is struggling so much. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity, and I know they want and expect 
this streak to get to nine. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up. And ten and ten. So here are the Just saying. Now coming out for their opening drive. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And his arm strength is often described as out of this Oh, they're going to run this defense. This is the same defense they showed me in New Orleans. But sometimes he relied on his arm so much his footwork got in the way. Let's, let's go hurry up with that. He gets better and better each year. Although they have Akeem Hicks. It shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. That catch good for only a couple. And so second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out the backfield, what the turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were got completely tangled up for no reason. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field. And okay, they're in man. Throwing on third down. Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. I can't even run a slant route without being sacked. That's that's crazy. I do think though they're gonna look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go out to the field and try to hold. Instead, they get a little breathing. Oh, Chicago's defense for the moment came to play. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Play fake. It's Fitzpatrick. Ah. He takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And now following the incomplete pass, we'll get a timeout here for an injured player. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. And this one taken in on the right sideline, nope. but not in the field of play. It's going to be real clean. tough for them to uh, move the ball against our defense. Deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. Let's help out. Um... On third down, Fitzpatrick. Going up top for Miller. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to charge that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. It's funny, that's actually... Oh, no. That's actually... Um, that's actually... Um, Jeff Okuda's superstar ability is he gets a deep, deep zone KO. Or deep route KO. So, um... When those, when those deep throws happen, he knocks it down, like, a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's score. Let's score some points. It's a gain of ten for the Lions and a first down. From the gun, here's Swift. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They'll try the air now with Stafford. Oh no. Kenny Galladay was wide open. This might be a defensive struggle. They only rushed three. No, we don't. In a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So 
how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to have to put a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight. I had him, too. Down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but okay, I think they they're going to run it. Team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be nope. one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game. A little playoffs, stick. And that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely, there's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This kid can play, this Bo, Jameel Bo. He's got like six or seven sacks. Oof. Kid can play. You're really almost discrediting their work. Let's uh, go cover two man again. Fitzpatrick following the sack. What can he and the gang come up with? Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. In trouble here and down he goes. I can't believe the protection. I wish I had protection like that. I can't even throw a slant route or a drag. On the ground, it's swift to strike the drive. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47 yard line. And on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. Honed in on it and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Give him three on the run there. Now they're kind of want to run right up the middle. On third down, here comes Swift. And he has the first down yardage before got it. him down right at the 45. Five yards on the play there. It's a drive. What? Oh, what are they doing? They gave themselves options there on the third down play, and we're able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. I'm just going to run it. 36 yard line. <laughs> Stafford gonna give it to Swift. And they'll be in I mean, the really, I'm just gonna run it. Two yards good enough for a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First down, and they go with Swift again. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run. So the offense okay, they're in man. feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Wow, Khalil Mack is so fast. He literally covered two people. He covered Hawkinson in the... The out route, and he perfectly covered DeAndre Swift in the um, the swing. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 19. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Of course. Of course. That had to happen. 
Roquan Smith has to play like an absolute beast. Following the interception here, Fitzpatrick. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, <clears throat> second and two. Facing a second and two after I think they're going to run it. Catch good for eight yards. Nope. Here's Fitzpatrick. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. He's I guessed run, and it was a pass, and apparently that makes your receiver get wide open. I don't think they've ran the ball one time this game. 